Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's latest mix up build. To uh, today, I'd like to present my Grunge Dragon Ear mix set. To where it's designed to perfectly take on Elder Dragons of any variations or monsters that are weak to dragon damage, and constantly damage them in a flurry of hits that they may never recover from. So, with this build, I want to try out the new Devil Joe Insect Leaf, as it has one of the best looking stats I've seen in the world when compared to the other insect leaves, and wanted to create a set around it, and that would allow me to constantly attack the monster without having to slow down. So generally, a quick hitting DPS dragon build. The build will provide you the means to constantly attack a monster aggressively and build up damage within a short time frame as long as you hit the required areas for your insect leaves buffs to kick in. I find that using this against monsters that are weak to dragon elemental can work wonders as you can stun them easily with this setup with its good damage, plus you'll be tripping or breaking monster parts on the get go when you get the flow of the build going. If you're someone that's generally looking for an insect leaf build that can shut down elf dragons like it's nothing then look no further as this here will provide you everything you ever want. Anyway, let's get down to the main build. The weapon of choice here is the Devil Joe Grunge Storm Insect Lave, as it has amazingly high damage, which can be increased, white sharpness that can be maxed out, 210 dragon element, high elder seal, and can be augmented twice, which pretty much makes this a top tier weapon to boot. But it has minus 25% affinity, to which might put some players off at first glance, as seeing a minus number on a weapon usually means that there's a trade off being done. For the augmentation, I'm with an affinity augmentation to negate 10% of the weapon's minus affinity and a health regen augmentation so I can regain health while I'm wailing on the monster. However, with this setup in mind, you could go with a damage increase which can be beneficial in increasing your damage output or could go with an extra slot so you can max out a level 1 skill set you're running. If you decide to go with the extra bit of damage or extra slots then I'd advise you keep your affinity augmentation as this is the one you want to focus on the most with lowering down your minus affinity for your weapon. After that, you can then go with whatever you like. When compared to the No Dragon Series Insect Glaive that has a tiny bit less damage and Dragon Element and no white sharpness, but does have higher Elder Seal and high blue sharpness, you can see both of the two are just as viable to each other, if you're fine with having a trade off between the two. Plus, No Dragon Series Insect Glaive doesn't have any minus affinity added to it, which frees up your space in terms of adding more damage, more skills or more affinity, depending on what you're trying to create around it. So do remember that you're never limited on your options as they both have the pros and cons to each other and they're both top tier. I'm also using the Persuader Calf free can snack from my glaive with added on dragon elements as it has high dragon element, power and speed which fits the role for the build perfectly for its aggressive nature. So in terms of the base of the set, it's designed around taking on elder dragons and monsters weak to dragon damage while also making good use of his damage output from his initial buffs to wipe sharpness to provide the skills that allow me to continuously attack. So bearing in mind the requirements I was looking for, I went with these skills that best suited the build. I decided to add on more sharpness to the weapon to increase the base white sharpness the weapon already has with a handicraft 4 skill. I then increased the base damage of my weapon and affinity to help negate the minus affinity from the weapon, while also blocking out the monster's roar to increase DPS with a attack boost 5, weakness exploit 3 and earplugs 5 skill. And also it causes problems when it comes down to the flow of damage we're also producing. Now, with the Mind's Eye skill in check, that won't be the case and once we hit yellow sharpness then I can sharpen my weapon back to white and repeat the process again and again. This is kind of the tactic I've currently been using against Elder Dragons at most and I found that it's incredibly effective with this current setup I have. Overall, this should lower our weapon's minus affinity from minus 25 down to just minus 10, which can be negated further with our weakness exploit level 3, our base weapon damage to 775 damage and our sharpness to near max. Now when it comes down to fighting the monster, the first thing I do is send out my kinsonet and collect the extracts from the monster so I can build up my meter to full and then proceed to attacking the monster. This is generally the go to rule for all kinsonet users, as you can increase the amount of DPS you do with a 4 bar of essence, and it also changes up some of your attack movements on said monster. When collecting from the monster, it will notify them straight away that they're being attacked and will most likely roar to stun you, but thanks to our max out earplugs, which is something that I recommend you heavily focus on, we can speed up the post of, of extract collection a lot more quicker, while the monster is generally vulnerable at the same time. 9 out of 10, it works, other times it doesn't work, it's kind of a hit and run movement, but once you get it down perfectly, you'll be able to get your extract within less than a minute at best, then you can start waiting on the monster. Now once the extracts are fully collected, I then usually put on the rock steady mantle to help with allowing me to phase through monsters attacks and not get pushed around too much. For you, you could also go the same way I do, or you can just go straight in and attack the monster relentlessly, it's kind of up to you on how you want to attack with this. 
but for each monster you face it might be completely different but this is where you generally have to play around with it first to see which one works out best for you now at this point all you got to do is keep attacking the monster with your combos and hits make sure your kinsner essence is full at all times and your weapon is sharpened and just keep relentlessly attacking the monster and you'll pretty much make every monster you face suffer very violently on you try this on nergiante for example and watch how utterly decimating it can become on such a fearsome monster that had major problems the first time it faced to now being a utter kitty cat so now you see how the build works why don't I give this setup a try and show the whole world who the true Dragoneer is? And that comes to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then a like and sub would be appreciated. Do comment if there's anything you're confused with or would change, and I'll try my best to help you. But once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.